to introduce Arthur. Arthur Kanigas first joined the World Federalist when he was a high school student in 1964. He went on to produce War Without Winners with Paul Newman and did the nuclear war research for the ABC TV special, The Day After. 100 million Americans and 200 million Soviets watched it, the largest audience of any made-for-TV movie ever. I guess even more than Martin Keene's TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> It had been a big impact in stepping us back from the brink of nuclear war. In fact, Ronald Reagan says in his memoirs that it convinced him that nuclear war could never be won and led him to sign nuclear arms reduction agreements with the Soviet Union. Arthur also produced documentaries to help stop the Vietnam War and more. Arthur, along with Melanie Bennett, created and produced tonight's film that we're going to see later tonight, The World is My Country, about world citizen number one, Gary Davis, that very early world federalist and one of the pioneers in the world citizen movement. They have made an entertaining, eye-opening film that, with sufficient funding, could bring millions more people into the world citizen movement and help us once again step back from the brink of destruction. Arthur? Well, thank you so much. And what an amazing group this is and the courage you've had over 70 years of, you know, from, from over in different names, but carrying on this work for, for a united world and to save us all. I noticed that Martin is still on, which I'm thrilled by. And so I, of course, I would, I would love it if he could, I wanted to say anything more. We were just so thrilled when, when his wonderful wife uh, first showed him our movie and he calls me up and says, uh, you know, Arthur, I fell in love with Gary Davis. This, we actually got the call because his first call didn't go through. So it's like almost midnight. My wife says, who could be calling now? And it's Martin. He says, uh, and he says, uh, I, uh, uh, I just fell in love with Gary, especially when he refused to take power when he could have there at the velodrome. And, you know, what can I do for you? And uh, it's been quite a journey, right, Martin? Very much so. And uh, thank you for accepting my call. Uh, he, he didn't mention it was a collect call. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> now, Martin has just been such a delight to work with. Uh, I mean, he, he'll really go out of his way, even when there's a, a lot he has to do with filming. He, he was able to do this the first time we had the film when we set the crew out. It was it was like the day after, uh, uh, I believe it was the day after Thanksgiving, right? When the, when he had a day off because he just was nonstop working. And we we went to that little uh, theater. You remember that little theater across the street, yes. you, Martin? On PCH, and, yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, you came there and you said, wow, what a setup. I, you, you guys look like you're kind of pros. <laughs> and you we, we did. We had a good team, a good crew for you. Uh, it's actually my neighbor down here in Baja in Mexico. And... Uh, they did a great job filming you. You were just so beautiful in the film. Well, I'm very proud of it and grateful to you for uh, inviting me to participate. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And and now, uh, recently, when you read Gary's book here, uh, uh, My Country is the World, uh, you told me, uh, you said that, uh, you called me up and, uh, and, and what did you tell me? <laughs> well, I thought, you know, there are like 10 chapters in the, in the book and I thought, wow, this would make a wonderful series today with particularly with the need for uh, uh, some sense of of sanity in our in our national politics uh, these days uh, you know the, the, there's you know the one thing we can't seem to agree on is the absolute uh, essential truth and so we're still fighting uh, you know this scoundrel who he makes his living lying so uh, uh, I felt that uh, this would make a really really good series in fact just before we came on this presentation, we did a little ad for the series for anyone that might be interested in getting it started. So yeah, the book was an inspiration. And 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 as I say, it, it's like 10, 10 episodes. They're all there over a 10 year period, starting in Paris, I believe in 1948. So uh, it was an extraordinary uh, read. And, uh, I, I, and I, I, I hope the author can get it together like he did the film and we'll get a series out of it. Yeah, it would just be so great to have a series. And of course, one of the things that Gary had so, was so good at, because he was an actor, uh, you know, some people see a borderline and they see, oh, scary authority, all this. He saw a set and he said, OK, these guys want me to they, they have all this uh, cops to intimidate me. They want me to play into their game. 
well, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just get them to play into my game. And so he created his own props of freedom, as you mentioned in the introduction. And one of those props he created is almost like a stage prop, and yet it's been stamped by almost every country in the world, oops, upside down, is the world passport. Uh, do you have one of these world passports? I, I do. I, 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 I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> but yes, I, uh, I was uh, honored to, uh, to have one as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's so wonderful that you've seen yourself as a world citizen. It's a, it's a way of identifying yourself with the planet as a whole. And, and as you'll see when you watch the film later this afternoon, even if you saw it before, because we've, we've made improvements and we've made it free to everyone here to set back at the same Zoom, uh, you'll see that it really uh, inspires us to think in new ways. Gary really could think outside of the box. Uh, is that one of the things that attracted you to his, uh, his story? Well, I... I... I really, I, you know, the most disarming thing about him was to discover that he was an actor. You know? So I related to that straight away. He was like the, the first uh, actor activist. And, uh, with, uh, you know, I, I wish I'd known about him sooner because I could have used the inspiration. But uh, the fact that he was an actor and a successful actor and had become a uh, combatant in World War II and seen combat uh, you know, and seeing the destruction that uh, uh, a war brings on primarily innocent people uh, uh, through uh, bombardments of uh, civilian uh, populations, major cities and so forth, which became very popular in World War II. And uh, he, that really changed his, his life and opened up his, uh, his, his uh, possibilities to making a contribution that was bigger and and far more important than, than going to war. Uh, you know, I, I, another one of my heroes is, is, um, is a, a, a Father Greg Boyle, uh, the Jesuit priest who founded uh, a Homeboy Industries here in, uh, in Los Angeles, and it's become an international uh, uh, organization that helps uh, uh, young people get out of gangs and get, get into uh, more productive living. And um, he was being interviewed one day uh, and I, I just happened to be listening to him on the radio. And the, uh, the, the guy who was doing the interview didn't seem to know who he was. <laughs> and I, I knew very well who he was. And, uh, and he, he was just fascinated with Father Boyle. But at one, one point he said to him, well, what made you uh, become uh, uh, so involved with uh, helping other people? What, how came you to this place in your life? And he said, well, Frankly, I went into the third world and they cracked open my heart. And I think that's what happened to uh, Gary Davis. And it, it's what happens to all of us who are exposed to uh, other cultures. And we don't have to leave our country now. We don't have to leave the neighborhood. There's third world America now. You have to only, you go around the, the block in ma most major cities and you see the third world. Uh, in our own country with our fellow citizens. And so there's a lot of work to be done. And I think that as long as our hearts are open, then we, we are receptives for something bigger, something better that can transcend where we are and can take us where we should go. We just have to be ruled by our compassion, not our fear and our arrogance. Wow, ruled by compassion, not by fear and arrogance. Wow, that should be a slogan for, for us here, here in the world. Well, uh, you know, one of the other people on this call is Tad Daly, and he was the person who first invited you to join the advisory board uh, of the Citizens for Global Solutions. Do you, do you remember that? Uh, do you remember Tad? Do you see him here? I, I... Tad, maybe you can come on a second. I, 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 I don't see him. Uh, Tad's there. Anyway, Tad, is, I guess, networked with you or he somehow got you onto the advisory board way back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have the uh, little symbol of the, uh, some time ago, I was given one of the, uh, the uh, globes that you, that you uh, had held up earlier, uh, Bob. Yeah. I have one uh, stashed away. <laughs> that must be what Tad presented the years back, right? It was Tad? quite a while ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Arthur, since okay. you called on me, let me just say hello, Martin. Oh, uh, there you are. Okay. Hello. Dad, how are you? Good. Good. Maybe, maybe you remember that we sort of have a double acquaintance. 
uh, both being very involved in the peace movement very broadly for, yes. I guess, 20, 25 years. And yes. we first met when I was working for the late, great uh, Senator Alan Cranston. Yes. Uh, yeah, who you absolutely. knew and admired. And you may yeah. not know, I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this to you, he was a president, Martin, of this organization. Oh, uh, way back at the dawn when 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 we were founded in in 1947, but we also know each other from St. Monica's Church. Oh uh, yes, and I know that much of your social justice passion is informed by your uh, serious Roman Catholic faith. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's how we originally met. But and I guess I will just say one more thing, Arthur, since you called on me, uh, and this is something I've mentioned to you once before, uh, Martin. Way back in 1963, when you were a brilliant young actor, you starred in an episode of The Outer Limits. Oh, I'm my sure God. you remember it. I and do. There was yeah. a group of about half a dozen astronauts who were being held prisoner by uh, by, by a group of uh, mean aliens. Yeah. But you all wore a breast patch, and it said UE. And yes. it stood for Unified Earth. Yes. And this really affected me. When I was a young boy, I remember seeing it and saying, oh, it's not just about space travel and aliens. It's also about the development of the human species. Someday astronauts won't just work for America or China or Russia. They might work for something called, as your Outer Limits episode had, a unified Earth. Yes. And you now today, Martin, serve on the advisory board of an organization that seeks to bring about a unified Earth here yeah, in the so real world. Well, I had I had forgotten that uh, we had that in common, and uh, um, I'm I'm glad you reminded me. It's quite quite a while ago, but I remember that episode very well. And the uh, that series, The Outer Limits, I think it only went one season, and it gets repeated every now and then. And I get asked about that episode specifically. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your work today and helping us bring a unified Earth someday into future historical reality. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm very proud. Thank you. Well, it's thrilling <laughs> right, to have you as a part of this. Uh, so glad you could chat with us a while here at CGS. Let's keep building this. You know, we can work with Rod Roddenberry, who wants to, he also wants to make a United Earth film. Uh, we can get, maybe you can help us uh, uh, get Jane Fonda to see the film. I know uh, I'd love to see uh, Greta Thunberg see the film and, you know, get us all working on a movie, the series you're talking about, uh, and, and really develop it so this becomes part of the national consciousness. It's not just something at the fringes, but it becomes front and center of what young people are dwelling in, hearing about, and, and empower them because they feel so powerless there at COP26 and around the world. It feels like the existing system is broken and doesn't hear them. And uh, maybe this will give them an inspiration for another path. What do you think? Well, I would, I would hope, you know, it's, it's their future. Uh, we've kind of uh, passed the... Uh, two thirds mark on our own. And uh, clearly uh, we've left uh, quite a bit to be, to be done and quite a bit to be undone. But uh, I'm, I'm inspired by these young people, particular, particularly uh, Greta Thunberg. Uh, she's quite remarkable. She just stands and, and, and uh, is, is, by her very presence is a, a force to be reckoned with. She is the future, it belongs to her. She has more right to say uh, what we should be doing than uh, than any of the people that are currently in power holding the strings to to uh, the purse strings to to, to fund the uh, programs uh, away from uh, fossil fuels and also uh, she's a great inspiration to young and old alike and uh, all over the world so I say more power to her great and on oh, that note good for you. Wanted... Uh, okay thank you yeah sure it, well I, I wanted to thank. Martin, Arthur, and Ted um, for that conversation that we all got a chance to be witness to. Um, that was truly inspiring and very unexpected. <laughs> so that was terrific. And I also want to announce at this point that we've reached the end of the formal part of this conference. So in a little while, you'll be able to kick off your shoes, grab some popcorn, and see what you heard as a most inspiring film about the origins of, uh, the origins of our work through the eyes and actions of an actor turned World War II bomber, Gary Davis. Before we take a break and return to the film, I wanna thank all of you for coming, for being willing to stare at a screen for all this time, <laughs> for putting up with all of our technical difficulties, but most of all, for your commitment to a better world. 
I'd like to remind you that the feedback survey uh, will, that will be in the chat window. And we, we, I'm sorry, we really do read them, I want to let you know, uh, and we use them to improve our events. So if you'd like to support our work, you could also don donate or become members by going to globalsolutions.org and clicking on the donate button. So at this time, I'd like to say goodbye to those and, live and streaming on YouTube. Before you do, let me just say that everybody, whether you're on YouTube or anyone, they can all come back for the movie free, whether you signed up for it or not, we're opening it to everybody. Just come back to this Zoom and you'll be able to watch the film. Oh, great. So you've got the live stream connected as well. They can come in that way. Yes, well, it, it, Melanie will work with Donning, make sure we have the live stream connected as well. Terrific, because okay. I, I was just about to say goodbye to the live streamers and tell them this was the end. So you came in right, right at the right time. Um, so lastly, I'll just say blessings to all of you until we meet again. If you're staying for the film, you could leave the, leave the room, log out, or, um, or, or keep it on, and we'll start again in, is it 20, 20 25 minutes? It's a um, quarter, quarter of the hour, Quar 5.45 Eastern, whatever that time is in California. It, okay, it's two o'clock here now. Mm -hmm. So, so um, 3.45. So the, the movie starts at um, 5.45 Eastern. East, okay. Oh, David Gallup's so, hands up. So it's 2.45 here. Yes. David? Yeah, I just wanted to quickly say I worked with Gary Davis for almost 25 years, and I'm still running the organization that he founded. And I can say that I've seen the film, The World is My Country, almost 50 times. <laughs> but it, it, as, as soon as, <laughs> Martin, as soon as you start introducing it, and as soon as I hear Gary talk, both of you, I actually start to cry. I miss Gary so much. And the emotion that you share introducing Gary and the emotions that he shares in the film, this is the kind of emotion that we need to engage humanity with to really feel what it means to be a world citizen and to move beyond the differences that we have to, to come together as a unified humanity. And I really wanna say thank you to everybody on this call and especially to, of course, to, to Martin and Arthur for putting this film together, for sharing Gary's vision of, of a future of, of, of one humanity and one world. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank Great. you. Terrific. Okay, I think that's the perfect last words to end on. So mm -hmm. again, I wanna thank you all for joining us and see you back at the film. Thanks so much. Break. Thank Bye you, Mark. Thank you so much, all. God bless. Uh, okay.